Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. going on out there not sure if anyone's here yet still new to the whole streaming thing if you're here say hi Audacity. Who's there? Is anyone there? I'll start the show if people are here. Otherwise, we're just going to give people a minute or two to make their way over here. Then we will get crackalating. If anybody's out there and audio levels are weird, just let me know. I haven't done an Audacity stream yet, so I might need to mess with some of the levels. I'm still working on that. Still working on a lot of that. So just let me know if something sounds terrible. We'll try to fix it in real time. Allergies are absolutely popping off. So apologies in advance if I have to pop away, shutter my camera for a moment or two, so that you all to you all can uh, be free of having to watch me blow my nose every five seconds. Get get. Pumped, pumped. Get pumped, get pumped. Hey, a dune says so sounds good. Thank you very much. A dune, a dune. Adam? Yes, yes. What's up, JD Panda? <laughs> Been like loudly whistling this song all week while I like do very mundane tasks like washing the dishes. Los! 
Oh, we het to watch the sausages get made. You love to see it. Yeah, well, you're not gonna have to sit and watch how all the sausage gets made. I've basically ground up all the meat. Uh, we're gonna, today we're gonna put it in the casing. No, I know. I was just busting your chops loose. I understood what you meant. Um, but yes, today is not so much how the sausage gets made, so much as how much the sausage gets, uh, ready to eat, so to speak. Maybe one day we'll do a full how the sausage gets made, but we're gonna start small. Such a good song. Let me fix my camera a little bit. Hi, everybody out there. Who's out there? Say what's up. Los, what's up? JD Panda, what's up? Adun, if I'm mispronouncing your name, let me know. What's up? How you doing? I'm your buddy Drew. Hi. Also known as uh, Drewster, also known as Game Master Drew, also known as the L200ster, also known as the Rooster. I've got more monikers than a rapper guys um today um well if you don't know me i don't know who's out there i know a couple of you who are out there jd panda los i know you from holden mcneely's twitch stream which is where you may know me from uh jd panda says doing well on this fine saturday as am i except i don't know if you heard me say my fall allergies are going absolutely bonkers so if i have to cut my camera off to spare you watching me blow my nose every few minutes please forgive me i'm doing quite well jd panda aside from the allergies got some coffee here uh, to do some work today. So yeah, if you don't know me, that's where you might know me from Holden McNeely's Twitch stream. You might know me from Versus, the podcast where I'm Game Master Drew. Uh, you might not know me at all. You might have just wandered in here randomly from Twitch. And if that's the case, welcome. Please throw me a follow. I'm relatively new to uh, streaming myself. I've been on Holden's Twitch stream for a couple years now. I just started um, streaming myself, and I was thinking about fun stuff I could stream aside from just games, because I do love playing games, and I would love to just stream games, but it might be fun to see, like Lo said, how the sausage gets made behind an episode of Versus, and if you're a fan, this is a cool way to get a sneak peek. You kind of have to be a super fan, though, because uh, this will be a little bit spoilers, and it's not going to be like listening to an episode straight through, because we're going to stop listening to it from time to time, then go scouring the internet for some... Um, the internet or my little uh, growing archive of my own sound library that I'm kind of collating on my own computer here as I continue to make verses, but adding sound effects, adding music, adding all that kind of stuff uh, to the episode and getting it ready to publish on Wednesday uh, at midnight as usual. We missed last week because this episode was such a bear. That's the bad news. The good news is um, this is the longest episode of Versus to date, and I haven't even added any of the sound effects stuff. The sound effects don't usually add too much length, but, um, yeah, this was a hefty one. It was almost 40 minutes long after the cut, the final cut, um, and they're usually closer to 15 to 25 minutes, so this one really took a long time. I just ran out of time last week, frankly, and then me and my wife had plans on Tuesday night, so I couldn't really work on it until 4 o'clock in the morning like I often do. Um, so yeah, apologies if you were sad about last week's episode not coming out, but the good news is it's a real whopper and it's a fun one. As you'll hear, uh, it's our third guest, uh, Malachi's good friend Rory Scholl came in and he was a consummate professional, unlike John and Malachi, who were real, uh, who are real thorns in my side. No, that's what we play it up. We play it up. We're all, we all have a good time. Uh... So I'm going to have a sip of coffee, and then we're going to get in Audacity, and then we're going to get going here. I'll show you guys what I've been up to. Lovely. All right. Let's see if this works. Uh, Audacity edit window. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. So uh, Los says, imagine not neglecting your relationship to create content. I know, Los, uh, it is kind of crazy. Um, but you know, I like to have a healthy marriage 
in so much as it is, as it is in my uh, power to do so. But no, we never do anything uh, during the week either. And like Angie's favorite, one of her favorite authors, who's named Sandra Cisneros, um, who's a Mexican American author. Uh, now living full time in Mexico, uh, came and she did a little reading of some poetry and stuff. So it was like, "Hey, Tuesday night, and we're going out, and we go out to dinner, and we got home after ten o'clock. Whoa, what are we not in our late thirties?" Um, but anyway, yeah, that's what we were up to on Tuesday night, and it was actually a lot of fun. So here is what I've done so far up till now. This is about forty minutes of content. Um, you can see up here we got the time. Uh, she lives here in town. Um, Los Sandra Cisneros does. That's cool. Um, I, I know she was from Chicago. I think she said she lives in Mexico full time now, but it seemed like that was relatively new. Um, and I had not heard of her, but I want to read one of her books now. Having seen her, she was very charming. Um, her poetry was a lot of fun, just really like, uh, quirky and sexy and, um, innocent and sad and all that good stuff. But yeah, she was great. I'm, I was an instant fan. Um, so what we're seeing here now on the Audacity window is the final cut of the episode. I spared you guys that. That took me literally hours to do. I get really granular. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of stuff here and a lot of stuff's going on. At the top is the track with all of our vocals on it. This is kind of like a, a big um, a main track that has all of our vocals. Below that are tags I've added. The first thing I do when I go to edit an episode is I um, lay all the audio down and then I just listen to the whole thing and I start um, breaking it out into segments. Certain segments I want to cut, certain segments I want to keep, certain segments I want to keep shorter, but this helps me keep these little tags here, help, help me keep track of everything. And then below that, we have individual microphones. So these you'll see here. I don't know how much you can see it or how small it is on the screen. I might need to adjust some of that. Um, but it's our individual mics, just me, just John, just Malachi. And here we even had Rory, um, a guest this time. It's usually just, uh, four audio tracks, but we had a fourth mic going this time with Rory. So that just allows me to kind of isolate vocals from time to time. If I want to do that, like if, <laughs> if you've ever listened to the podcast verses, but we're often screaming over each other. Um, and it's an improvised comedy podcast. So, um, that's totally normal and accepted, but sometimes when we're screaming over each other, one of us has the like joke that ends up being the joke that leads into that. So I want to cut out the other people talking over that person so you can kind of hear the joke. So that's what having the isolated vocal tracks does for me. I can kind of, um, I can get really granular with the edits and I can just zoom in on one person's mic if I want to not hear what everybody else is saying. Couldn't imagine a time where we don't want to hear what everybody's saying, but it does happen from time to time. And then I always add a little track down here. And as I'm going along, these little sound waves that you see down here are um, outtakes. So if you're a fan of the podcast, if you've uh, listened to the podcast before, hey, you know what? Actually, if you haven't listened to the podcast, let's see if this works. Yeah, there's a link. Um, you can listen to podcast at versuspod.com. They're nice and quick, like 25 to 30 plus minute episodes of improvised comedy, um, that we try to put out weekly. I would have said we do them weekly, except I failed for the first time aside from our hiatus to put out an episode last week, but weekly episodes, improvised comedy, nice and quick. Tell your friends, tell your family. Um, JD Panda says, there's so much fun. Thank you so much. And Lo says that Sandra Cisneros lived in downtown San Antonio for a long time, painted her house crazy colors and got in trouble since she lived in a historic district. Hell yeah. That seems to track from, from what I saw of her. She seems like she would not give a shit and also really love to kind of shake up the status quo. Um, so what I do after I make this final cut is just mix it all down into a, another MP3 or WAV file. Uh, which I did last night because that kind of takes a minute. We don't need to sit here and watch audio render. That's not a lot of fun to do on stream. But what we can do now, since I've mixed all that down, I have just this. Oh, and also, so these are the cuts. You can see some of the cuts that I've made in segments. Some of the cuts you won't see because they're not segmented like, like these are here. You see these bars. Um, and then these dips here 
are, this is another fun and unique thing about our podcast, is uh, me and John and Malachi all have completely different manner of speaking. Malachi is very loud, John is right in the middle, and I'm very quiet. I'm a very quiet talker. So that means mixing the audio for our podcast is a real challenge, making sure that it's not too loud, not too quiet. Um, That takes me a good amount of time. And that's what these little dips are. I can switch to the... um, you can see the actual points that I've put in there. What I usually do is just jack up all the audio as high as it goes, and then I kind of shrink down the waveforms when they're getting too big, which means they're getting too loud. And then you have to watch it on the playback bar up here to just make sure the audio is not clipping out and stuff. Um, so that's what this is the work I've done so far, is the final cut and the final mix of the episode 32 of Verses. Um, I've mixed all that audio down into its own wave file because we're going to get it out of this environment because since there's so much data in here, there's four, there's four mics, there's another track with all four mics on it. And then there's another track down here with stuff on it. This all gets really like slow to process and stuff. So once I mix it and, um, finalize the cut, I get it out of this environment and put it into another audacity environment to make it easier make my computer work quicker and you don't need all this like noise i can still i'm still going to retain all this work because it's good to retain the work just in case i discover something crazy while i'm trying to soundscape it um you know it's always a good idea not to delete your work uh so i just keep it in a separate file but down here the next step since we've done all that would be to make the intro flourish that we put at the top of every episode Um, If you've listened to the episodes before, you know that our intro flourish is um, the same thing every week, except I put an outtake in to the intro flourish. So down here, as I'm editing, I add another audio track and I add these little waveforms or outtakes. Um, So let's listen to the outtakes and decide which one to use in our intro flourish, and then we'll put it into the intro flourish and get going on the soundscaping. Um, So let's listen to the first. I've just hit solo on this track, so that'll take... We were up here... This will give you all the noise on this track, but if you solo out this track, um, it'll only play what's on this row here. So let's listen to these. Tell me if you can hear these or if um, you can't or if they're too quiet or something. I'm still adjusting audio, but let's listen to the first outtake. Oh, I'm going to have to put it much closer than that. Let's zoom in a bit. Cool. You can see that. Here's the first one. All right, Drew, what was the prompt you gave me before I had to go off on a rabbit trail because... Somebody said something. (laughs) I like that one. That's kind of classic. Can you guys hear that? Okay. It looked like the audio coming out of um, OBS might have been kind of quiet. Let me know if that was too quiet. So maybe I'll just jack up the audio preemptively because I have a feeling it is too quiet. Let's give you a few more decibels. Looks like someone responded. It was quiet, but I heard it. Let's let's listen to you. Like, let's let you listen to it one more time. All right, Drew. What was the prompt you gave me before I had to go off on a rabbit trail because somebody said something? <laughs> <laughs> Classic Malachi. Um, I like that one. That might be the one we end up using. Let's hear what these other ones are. This one's a lot longer. Hey, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys before this, and this is a good incentive, because if you guys behave yourselves, I made, and I'm not lying, delicious homemade cookies and cream ice cream last night that you can have after we record this episode of Versus if you behave yourselves. Okay? So, I'd like everybody to know right now, um, this is not the first time somebody's tried to bribe me with ice cream. (laughs) (laughs) I might actually use that one. That's That one's so funny. Well, I think it didn't end up making the final cut, but um, Malachi says in a previous episode of Versus that Cookies and Cream was his favorite ice cream. So as a special treat for them, we came to my house to record this last one because our usual studio in Queens was closed for the weekend. Um, so I made Cookies and Cream ice cream, thanking them, to come for thanking them for coming out to my house, and then Malachi revealed that his favorite ice cream flavor was not in fact cookies and cream and it was cookie dough and he had just misspoken but he still ate my cookies and cream ice cream let's listen to the next outtake no the queen of england doesn't she does not shit anymore 
Uh, they took all the toilets out of Buckingham Palace. Either that or she's just does. pure animatronics now. Oh, I, yeah. That was before the Queen died. Too soon, I think. I don't know. That one's fine, too. I always have a running gag that the Queen of England is not shit, because I can't imagine people of that stature having to poop. It just seems ridiculous. All right, the last one. I think it's going to be the ice cream one, though, but let's listen to what we got here. Because come back, come it never would have happened <laughs> Malachi, come back, come back towards the line. Malachi, do not give in to your hate. I'm here. It's not me. It's not me doing it. It's her. Gina Carano's a fucking racist lady. <laughs> a little rant about Gina Carano, the once uh, star of The Mandalorian, uh, now rightfully disgraced for being a bigot. Um, I think it's going to be the cookies and cream one. So we're going to take that. What I'll normally do after this is uh, pull these out and just make little MP3 or WAV files out of them so I can work with them a little bit easier. I did that last night just to try to head some of this off at the pass so I wasn't like, you know, making you guys watch me bounce audio all day. So what we'll do now is put our outtake into the intro flourish which I think I have to just toggle something on OBS here so you can see my intro flourish screen. Yes, so here's another Audacity environment. This is our intro flourish from the beginning of every episode. Um, like I said, it's the same each time except the outtake, which is this is last episode's outtake, uh, just goes in there. So we'll import, I don't know how much of my menus you can see. I don't think you can see any of them actually. But what we're doing right now is I'm just finding that sound clip um, on my computer and we'll get it into, into Audacity. Ice Cream Bribe, that's what I called it. So here we go. This is Ice Cream Bribe. This is the whole thing. Hey, you know what? I forgot to tell Yeah, this is the whole thing. Kind of a long... Uh, a long one, but I don't mind when they're long. I kind of like when they're longer. It, le it at least means that they're usually funnier. Um, so I'm just going to or mix this audio real quick because I haven't actually messed with this. But what I'm doing here is just adding little points. See, it's like way too loud over here. I'm just bringing it down for that one specific segment so that it won't blow our speakers out. And let's just listen hey, to you it. You know what? I forgot to tell you guys before this, and this is a good incentive. Because right. if you guys behave yourselves, I made, and I'm not lying, delicious homemade cookies and cream ice cream last night that you can have after we record this episode of Versus if you behave yourselves. Okay? So, I'm, I'd like everybody to know right now, um, this is not the first time somebody's tried to bribe you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. That's all perfect. Up here, uh, while that's going on, I'm watching up here hey, to you know make sure that it doesn't clip out. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as it doesn't go above that negative six, it's fine. It starts turning red when the audio clips out. Um, and also just making sure the rest of it's loud enough. You're generally trying to get the audio between this negative 6 and this negative 12. That's kind of the ideal listening range. Um, so now that we've got this mastered, uh, or mixed, I'm trying to stop saying mastered because some people don't like that, even though my title is Game Master Drew, but that comes from a long and prestigious uh, legacy of tabletop gaming uh so what i'm doing here is so this was last week's outtake that i just moved down this is this week's outtake so the only thing i really have to do every week is put the new outtake in its place and then move a couple of the sound effects behind it so this is the click click the little click click sound effect we can listen to it and this is our intro music so all i have to do every week basically is just move those behind the latest sound clip or the latest outtake, get last week's outtake out of there, and then we've got our intro flourish ready to go. Let's see how it sounds. That's right, it's the $100. There's other sounds hey, you know down there we weren't seeing. Guys, before this, and this is a good incentive, because right. if you guys behave yourselves, I made, and I'm not lying, delicious homemade cookies and cream ice cream last night that you can have after we record this episode of Versus if you behave yourselves. Okay? So, I'm, I'd like everybody to know right now, um, this is not the first time somebody's tried to bribe you. <laughs> <laughs> See, that is going to take a little refining because I actually don't like that big pause. I like it to usually go bit from like big laugh straight into the 
So what I'm actually going to do here is clip some of this. And if you delete something off one line, you got to delete it off every line. So I'm just going to clip all this dead space. And now it's going to sound a lot better. <laughs> That's the sound we like to hear. Thank you, JD Panda. So, now that we've got that already, I'm just going to bounce this into its own MP3 too. It just makes a, things a lot easier to manage. So, again, I don't think you're seeing my menus, but what I'm doing right now is just bouncing this down into its own MP3 so I can work with it easier, and then you'll be able to see it once we get into our other Audacity environment. So I'm going to save it into my session audio folder, intro flourish. This is episode 32 of Versus. Um, and then I turn it into an MP3. All right. So it's an MP3 now. Is this? Everything's cool here, right? Are we cool? Everything's cool? Yeah, what we didn't see down here, this is a, uh, these are the other sounds that you always hear at the top. This one was called 8-Bit Flourish. This one came from a much longer clip that I clipped down of just this fake game show. That's right, it's the $100. And then this uh, is our other little sound effect that are familiar to you. And then this button push static noise I made from two. I made took a button push and then a static noise and kind of made uh, this sound up, which I use for a lot of stuff now. I like that as a transition. Um, so. We're going to get out of this Audacity environment. We're going to go into our soundscaping environment now. And I think I just have to toggle something again. There might be an easier way to do this on OBS, but I don't know what that is. So here's a brand new, fresh Audacity environment. Um, the first thing we want to do is let's pull in our episode audio. So I'm in my menus now. Mixed MP3s, episode 32. So this is going to take a second, but it's pulling in the audio. Uh, this is the what we saw on the last screen. This is the cut and mixed audio. And you can't see any of that other metadata, all that cut. All that stuff is just in this now. Um, all the cuts are just here. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. This is just the content. I'm going to change this name to episode 32, just to keep track of our rows here. And then the next thing to do is pull in our intro, intro flourish that we just made. I'm going to go into session audio, 38, and it is the intro flourish for 32. So that's this is what we just made in that other stacked Audacity file right here, but it's all just in a nice flat MP3 file. Um, I'm going to have to listen to the whole thing again. I usually would, but I'm not going to make you guys. The only thing we have left to do here, aside from the intro flourish, is line it up so that the uh, episode starts at the right time. That looks about right. Let's check it out. Um, I'll put it about here. Let's listen to it from the click into the theme song into the episode. <laughs> I think this is where it should start. That's usually where I like to start it. Um, so it usually goes into some mumbling. Do a lot of people use that? They were before the pandemic. Oh, the yeah. Now. The other thing we want to do is start fading this out from that point. Essentially from the point people start talking until the song is done. So what we can do with that is I just put a little bar in here. That's what I did with keystrokes. Um, I put my cursor here. Um, in Audacity, at least in this one, it's Control I. I. There's actually a newer version of Audacity that I have not updated to because they changed a lot of stuff. And I just learned Audacity to do verses. I've never produced a podcast before. Uh, just learned a brand new digital, digital audio workstation. And then they came out with this update that changed a bunch of stuff. And I don't want it. I just learned how to do all this. So anyway, Control I for now. I don't know if you're using a, a different version of Audacity and they changed it. But that's what adds this little... Um, this little bar here that basically isolates this left side to the right side. And then they have an easy little fade out effect that you can't see my menus, but there's just an effects option at the top. And then there's one for fade out. 
and then it adds a nice fade out. Let's see how that goes. Do a lot of people use that in studios? They were before the pandemic. We had oh. all the time. Yeah. Now I think people are, forgot we it's have it. It's a great studio, and the price is so right yeah. too. Because it's like that's what when we were looking for like alternatives. All right. To, like, that sounds great. Record at today, I was just like, we can't afford. So it. I think yeah. what we'll do now, um, if you guys want to hang out. And we'll just listen to the episode, and then I'm going to stop it when I want to add sound effects. And um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's change this to Flash App 32. Um, yeah, so that's what we'll do. And then we can you can chat. Let me know. Let me know what's going on in the chat. But we'll stop every now and then, and we will look around on the internet if we have to for some sound effects or we will uh, pull them from my little sound library I've been creating on my own. Let me know, again, if the levels need to go up or anything like that while we're listening to it. But, um, yeah, let's get started. Do a lot of people use that in studios? They were before the pandemic. We had to oh, all the time. Yeah. Now I think people are, forgot we it's have it. It's a great studio, and the price is so right, yeah. too. Because it's like, that's what, when we were looking for, like, alternatives to, like, record at today, I was just like, we can't afford any of this. Yeah, everything's, like, like, three times higher. It's perfectly, than... like, all the all the equipment's fine. The sound is really good, yeah. and it's nice and cool down there, which is nice. That's why we've been summering in Queens. In winter, it's fine <laughs> here because it's we nice summer and in cool Queens. out, but we summer at QED. Oh, I didn't tell you. I forgot to tell you Rory's credits. Rory's credits are, let me think. Well, we're, um, Rory's Amazon, here now, so he yeah. can tell us. Amazon bestseller, but it's harder for you to tell your own credits. Somebody else will tell your credits okay. better than you. Hype, hype them up. Hype Amazon them up. bestseller. Woo, woo. Improviser, stand-up comedian in New York for how many years? 20, 20 years. years. 20 years. 20 years. The most workingest motherfucker that I know in this city. Woo, woo. Always doing something. Corporate gigs, promo gigs, TV gigs. Marvelous Miss Maisel. Does stand up everywhere in New York City. That's pretty good. And improv. Good. Founder of Art Pra, a show Rory created where it combines a country renowned and sometimes world renowned artist that create an original piece. And that piece is sold to help children from to stop them from being murdered. <laughs> That's an important yeah. cause. Wow. No, to stop them from murdering. <laughs> stop them from murdering. Yeah, stop them from being murdered and, and murdering. Murderous and tendencies. Murdering and or getting yeah. murdered. Healed through art. Um, does what did I say? Stand up right. already? Yeah. It sounds like you're really going for it. I, 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 I was going for it as soon as I came to New York. I started going for is it. Is everything is everything okay with your mic? Can, can you hear okay? Or? Yeah. Oh, Rory is also a, a fantastic storyteller and has told stories many times at the Moth. And didn't you win awards for that at some point? No, okay. not for the moth. <laughs> but he you also, deserved but awards. I do the moth that... and, the, and risk. If you've heard and of risk, yeah, yeah. Risk uh, Kevin Allison. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, done yeah. the moth and risk. Kevin which Allison. Is... So uh, the book that we have on Amazon is through Kevin Allison. So nice. they don't just let anyone yeah. do that either. You have it's to, because I tried. They, won't, they wouldn't let me tell any stories. <laughs> what Malachi's means is they wouldn't let him. Do it. <laughs> I, have, I have good stories for the moth, but they won't let me tell it. Are they just like <laughs> stories that you tell that are true stories? Or? Yeah. Oh, they're good stories. Yeah. I have great. I stories. can vouch. Malachi has a lot of stories. I have stories he that has a make lot of people story, cry. But he also tells he tells tales. <laughs> he he yeah. likes yeah. to yeah. tell <laughs> tales that you, but he just no, goes for. No, my true it. stories. He really goes for it. My <laughs> true. Stories? I heard he really goes for it. <laughs> my true stories are good stories. I have a story about a, a karate instructor. That tried to sexually assault me when I was fourteen. <laughs> and did you defeat him with the karate that he taught? Yes. Us? Did you? Yes. That's the thing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blow the story. The first thing he taught us was a low block, which is right in the groin area, and that's where he kept trying to grab me. And I'm like, why did you just teach me this two weeks ago? How do you know that he wasn't trying to grab you and just trying to t- test your low block? Maybe, I think he was maybe that's what it was. Block. Or yeah, maybe he someone's wanted a little a challenge. full of themselves, Malachi. Maybe he's like, these kids are too easy to molest, so I'm going to teach them how to defend themselves first. I don't know what it was. Like a kink. But if he was a predator, why would he do that? The first thing he taught us was low block and a roundhouse That's kick. a bad predator. And that was all we did. That low was, block and a roundhouse kick are like that the was, two polar opposites of each other right? in martial arts. But that's yeah. all like we did. The easiest thing and the hardest thing to do. So he went to grab your Johnson, that's you low blocked, did. and then roundhouse and kicked him? <laughs> This is <laughs> that was practice. You yeah. passed the test. Yeah, was, at least, yeah, at was. the very yeah. at the very least is the best cover for someone like that. Because at the yeah. worst case scenario, you just be like, "Oh, good job, you did yeah, a great yeah. low block there." Uh, get back into class. No, yeah. then he told me to suck his dick though, this, uh, and this is one hundred percent true. There's no way to defend yeah, against that. And he started that. like trying to pull it down. He was still. We were still both in our taekwondo uniforms. So he starts like pulling it down. I ran away. Isn't it called a gi? No. 
I don't know what it was called. I don't know. The uniform. Yeah, I don't know. That's vegan butter. Yeah, that's. So he tried to run me over with his car. It was the Acura. And was this all in one day? Yeah, this is all the same day. <laughs> a lot of people yeah. have tried to run you over with a car. Yeah, it happens days. quite often. Yeah. So I ran downstairs and ran outside. I'm standing on the sidewalk, and he ran out. And I thought he was going to capture me, but he went to his car, and then he started driving his car up on the sidewalk trying to run me this over. This is actually yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% How old true. were you? I was 14. 34. I was 14. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Last, uh, this two weeks. Last, yeah, yeah. This is three years ago. Did you tell on him? Uh, no, because it was like a thing. Like he tried to run me over, and then he missed. Um, and he taught taekwondo at a church, but nobody's gonna listen to a kid. Like they don't give a fuck. Malachi's like that didn't affect me at all. As he drinks his Bud Light watermelon, his, yeah, like, man, Gatorade bottle in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> I drink my four dollar alcohol at two p.m. <laughs> no, it's nah, you know, it didn't hurt me at all. It's five. past four o'clock. It's a true story. Use all of it. This will, I mean, and yeah, then I'll get we'll a TED talk. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> a TED talk would be probably pretty good for our numbers. Honestly, you I'm, should you should wait. try to book a TED talk. Yeah. You want me to book a TED Talk yeah. and plug this podcast If you on don't it? mind. <laughs> All right. Well, well, the other thing is you have a unique name, so people will be like, oh, who's this Malachi Nimmons guy? And they'll Google you, and they'll be like, oh, oh. what's this versus? I bet this is intellectually stimulating like a TED Talk is. <laughs> <laughs> and then they would listen to our podcast, and then we'd get canceled. Oh. Uh, yeah. Before we were anybody. There, Fool them. But there's <laughs> nothing we say or do on this podcast that's like that extreme. I make sure of it. Yeah, I, I mean, you, yeah. He, he reigns you in, I've heard. But we're still, seeing it right but now. I also mean, haven't heard what ends up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody out there, if you hear a fourth voice on the mic this week, it's Rory Scholl. Is that how you say your last that's name? That's right. Rory, Rory Scholl on the mic. On Thank the hot you so mic. much for having me. Thanks for coming by. So welcome back to Versus. It's the only game show where whoever has the most points at the end wins. Did only Mal- one. Malik, I tell you about this beforehand? Yeah. Yeah. You tell you okay. invented a new kind of game show where you score points. Points. Yeah. That's what they're called, go points. On a, yeah, they okay. go on a scoreboard, and then who has the highest number of points at the end will win the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with the British version of this, but it's, it's there is The British version, they stole our intellectual property, actually. We have, there is an active lawsuit. A fair right. everybody that speaks Spanish, if yep. you're wondering what we're talking about, when we keep seeing points, uh, the translation is puntos. Puntos. Oh. But you have to be careful because puta is a bad, very bad very word. Very bad word. So that, you have to be I mean, really it's not careful. Very bad. I mean, like, it's not a nice thing to say. If you call somebody a puta, that's not a terrible word. Um, like, you're just like, it's, hey, you no, know. it's pretty bad. I got called puta a lot. I grew up in Texas. Yeah. So See, they, yeah. I know. Woot, woot. These, Shout I don't know if I can say these other ones. Probably. Shout not. out to Texas. That's not as bad. It's you have to make sure you know what you're yeah. saying. What is? No, never. You're right. yeah. I, did I get any points for any of that? Uh, yeah, everybody's been scoring points this whole time. It's, no, it's a no. Nice Drew, scoreboard. Though. Drew just gives out points however he wants to and does whatever fuck he wants. All right. And and that's why at this it's time true. on this podcast you have to be confident in yourself because you have win or lose you have to know that you're a winner anyway. Every, and that's that's I mean, the world I live. Everybody's in. a winner except the person who gets the most points. I mean, wins the most. That's kind of all right. Kind well. Of how it goes. Malachi, if you could slap any one living U.S. president across the face, which one would you slap? <laughs> Fucking Hamilton, man. I slapped the what? shit out of President Hamilton. He's not. That's You just want to. Let's pause for a moment, shall we? One living U.S. president. <laughs> and Malachi names, named a dead person who was not ever the president. Uh, to my point that he just wants to slap slap Lin Manuel Miranda. Lin Manuel well, Miranda. Did you say Lin Manuel? It's not Lin about Hamilton. President? Yeah, a president that's alive right now. Yeah, which one, one would I slap? Yeah, who we got? We got um, uh, it's Carter, Clinton, Trump, Clinton, Carter, Clinton, George Bush, W. Carter, Obama. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Biden and, and Biden. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can absolutely slap Biden. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, you, if that's what you'd like. Don't do it too hard, though. <laughs> yeah, careful. Like, yeah, don't yeah, 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 he won't be careful. living anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I could slap any living U.S. president right now, I'd slap the shit out of Jimmy Carter, man. <laughs> man. Because he's the best one. He's yeah, the best no, one. He's the one who's like, yeah, he's he's like solved he's 90 years world old, problems and fucking building houses and shit. He's Jim- almost eradicated uh, that. And- that worm, that and, and, weird worm. Thing. And everybody talks so much. Here's why I love Jimmy Carter, man. <laughs> it's true. Because people even, will tell you. I didn't know he had worms. When I was a kid, <laughs> he eradicated all. Oh, when I was a kid growing up, everybody's like Jimmy Carter's the worst president. But but I realized that they said that because he wasn't like the other presidents. He actually tried to help people. He did shit. He's a peanut farmer. He's a lowly man. <laughs> and you want to slap him? That's why you want to. Yeah. That's why you want to. That's the American way. You want it. Wait, how dare you try to do things for us and build us houses? Yeah. And yeah. be an old man. That oh, and Trump. Your... We forgot about Trump, of course, too. Uh, but that's too obvious. You were going to slap Trump. It is crazy that 
I completely forgot to name Trump among living presidents. That is genuinely escaped my head. Yeah, I'm not worried. He slapped you get all a of our heads. We'll apparently. say you get a freebie on Trump, yeah. and then you get to slap one of the other his, ones. His ec- economic policy wasn't great. I'm going to oh, right. Get out of here. Uh, this you is know. A, you know, you're not slapping any president. Here, and get here's what here. I would do. Right, as, right as, as President Carter is about to give a house to a poor family that really needs it the most, <laughs> when he's like, here are the keys, I'm going to slap the fucking shit out of him. <laughs> And he's going to drop the keys and the whole house is going to fall down because it was held up by Jimmy Carter's will and spirit. Oh. And <laughs> along with him dying. Is that what's going to happen when he dies? All the houses he built yep, are going to fall down. Every house he built. So to the powerful. Ground. Every Why house would you do built. this to Jimmy Carter? <laughs> Every house built by Habitat for Humanity, if a, if, a, if a single nail was hit by Jimmy Carter, that house would collapse upon his death. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well, great, so great I, choice, Malaga. Yeah. And but guess what? Guess what? That house that so I slap him. Um, that family doesn't get the house, but guess who's in that family? A little kid named Jose Perez. And guess who P- Jose Perez grows up to be? Hitler. What, no, one of the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Perez. That's a pretty good up. guess. <laughs> He grows yeah. up to be one of the greatest comedians of all time because of the tragedy and heartbreak that he went through by losing a home that was right in front of his face, two huh. inches away from him. Thus saving the most inside. important thing in the world, comedy. 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 Yep. And Yay. stand-up comedians. Yep. Yes. And his Netflix special yep. is the highest rated ever. Yep. Jose Perez goes on <laughs> to be, become the next Kevin Thank Hart. God you <laughs> murdered Jimmy Carter Great. with a slap yep. and saved the world. It's not comedy. murder. If he's He was going to die anyway very soon. Did you see? He's one of those people that has bruises all over his entire body all the time. So if you kill someone like that, it doesn't count as murder. Yes, it doesn't count. I forgot about that loophole. Or if you kill somebody that's that old, they should only give you the amount of time that was in their life expectancy. He's past life expectancy, so I should get negative time in prison. Does he still have security (laughs) service detail? I think they do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Yeah, you've got it forever. Yeah, but they're as old as he is. You'd have to get past them, though. (laughs) No, I mean, basically in this scenario, a genie has granted Malachi's wish, and he he just just materializes out of nowhere and gets an open hand. You get it. One really good slap on Jimmy Carter. The thing is, you could slap him anywhere, but where would you slap him? No, I'm six feet tall, and I have big-ass ham fists. So if I, it's I was just gonna be the whole head. Yeah, that means I yeah. draw back and my big ass my big ass hand is gonna slap the side of his face. It no. would just it would be like oh, yeah. it would just be like putty. It, it would, would just, just be like yeah. a manga. Just yeah. you're gonna see his, <laughs> his, 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 his soul head. leave his body. This one got pretty rambly, as you guys can tell so far, which is probably why it's the longest episode of Versus to date. Uh, we were all really we had recorded an episode before this Malachi was a few Bud Light watermelon Rita's deep and uh, we had a friend over so we were just chatting a lot but that's uh, you know it's a bold it's a bold decision to slap Jimmy Carter but you got to respect it it's not it's not the expected decision what's his negative time in prison entail JD Panda maybe you get to live in a mansion for like I don't know maybe that's the negative time it's like the opposite of prison maybe it sounds like Malachi might find out. Yeah, 11 minutes deep already, and we're on question number one. Uh, Yeah, there's something that ended up on the cutting room floor, which is basically me begging them to get through a few rounds. Um, But yeah, it's uh, we're 11 minutes deep, almost 12 minutes deep already. Have you seen him lately? He's got bruises everywhere. You know, old people just that old. Yeah, man. If if they touch something, you're that old. He wasn't a peanut farmer after after he was president because they made him sell that peanut farm. Your skin is an organ, which got trotted out a lot with when Trump and all his all his. When he's still out there trying to use a hammer, and they show him putting a house together. I don't uh, want to live in a goddamn house. But Jimmy it's Carter the has something to do with only thing yeah. keeping him going. He looks Fuck like the bananas shit. on top of my fridge. Yeah. That's what he looks like <laughs> yeah. with a hammer. Like somebody needs to make the bread Jimmy out of Carter. his ass. Jimmy Carter's going to retire effect. by building his last house and sitting in a chair and going he, to he's sleep He's going to just, he'll just fade up. away like, like a Jedi. Jedi yeah. Yeah. Just disappear. He'll just like yeah. become one with the force and just you know, I disappear. Just, I, you he'll know appear how, you. Malachi. You know how people always <laughs> say, <laughs> wow, they'll just slap me. <laughs> Why, Malachi? Wow, that's all like this. What the fuck? <laughs> you know how people always say they're going to make banana bread out of old bananas Put and they the never do? Put the bud light down, Malachi. <laughs> oh, I've got a bunch of old bananas yeah, in the freezer right now. Was it good? I made some banana bread. Man, it was so good. Ooh, it was so good. Johnny, if you could slap any one living Apollo astronaut in the face, which one would you slap? 
if you say a black one, I'm going to slap you. No, there's only five. They didn't send any black people to the God moon, man. Come on. How many, yeah, are, how many this is not the United how many States? Are left? No, living Apollo Astro. Oh, Apollo yeah, Astro. Because, because, so we got four left. I got the names. Yeah, I got the names for you. Who died Tom recently? Hayes. So we've got Apollo 15's David Scott, Apollo 17's Harrison Schmidt, Apollo 16's Charles Duke, and of course, Apollo 11's Edwin Buzz Aldrin. I'm starting to wonder if Malachi thinks that the space shuttle sent people to the moon. I'm going to have to follow up with him on that one. As a uh, as someone who grew up in Florida, I feel like it's my job to continue people's uh, you know space education. Um, I, I, for, frankly, if I can offer you a piece of advice, I would not fuck with Buzz Aldrin. I would he's... smack Michael Scott. You know, Michael Scott. <laughs> yeah, David Scott. <laughs> That's who you meant, I think. Michael I'm, Scott. No, no, I meant what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Did, okay. You just yeah okay he did he go to the moon? This is some classic the John. I, I don't care. I missed that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, probably. Great job. No points no for problem. you, John. Uh, Rory, yeah. if you could slap any one living Oscar winner across the face, which one would you slap? <laughs> oh, man. Um, did Dakota Fanning win an Oscar? Yeah, I'd slap Dakota. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Do you yeah. want to give a reason? Otherwise, like if you don't, don't feel any pressure. She knows. She, she knows why. She knows. Oh, yeah. 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 Dakota, Dakota Fanning. Fanning. You're listening to this. A little kid, and then and then grows up and does. no. Fantastic. As always, we'll go through three rounds of games meant to test your bodies, minds, and spirits. Are we ready for round one? Fuck you, Jimmy Carter. <laughs> And to go to Fanning apparently, and yeah. Michael and Michael. Yeah, and no, I get Buzz yeah. Aldrin to help me smack him. <laughs> yeah, just as the Office music yeah. theme song dun, plays, dun, it. Dun, and then it just <laughs> just, <laughs> just. I picture Buzz Aldrin just grabbing a folding chair like a WWE wrestler. Oh for yeah, some just reason, cracking just him across it. Yeah, yeah. Is he still alive? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He's ninety Absolutely. something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He ass. quote unquote went to the moon. He didn't do shit, man. Yeah, and I he, agree. Did you hear him admit that on Letterman? That he didn't actually go to the moon. I mean, I think he was being facetious, but he was like, "No, we didn't actually go there." He's no, like, or maybe he's just getting so old he's forgetting he's well, supposed to lie. So yeah. what, what? But what he said was, he's like, he's like, do you think the TV relays were sharp enough for us to be able to send you what we were doing live? He's like, no, we actually went, but then we recreated it. Okay, so what Malachi is talking about here, I'd never heard about before, and it's not Letterman. It's. Um... I think it was Conan because I went to look this up afterwards and it is pretty crazy because Buzz Aldrin does say that the things we saw during the moon landing when it was televised was not live. He does say that. And it does make sense to me. It makes me want to ask somebody who was alive back then what they were seeing on the TV because what Buzz Aldrin says essentially, and they get off topic when I wanted him to stay on this topic because I was interested in this, but he says that essentially certain things were recreated for the visuals, but they were hearing the audio. I don't think he was being facetious and arco aesthetic. I think he was, uh, I, th- I think it might be some kind of historic fact that just doesn't get talked about because of moon conspiracy theories and stuff. They don't want to admit that any of it, um, and this might be, yes, Los, where the Stanley Kubrick stuff comes from. Uh, this is that interesting culmination of you know conspiracy theory and maybe some stuff that's actually true but i want to do more research about this because i had never heard of it anyway that's not funny it's just a little fact i learned onwards it's like the titanic no look it up though it's him on i think it was him on conan what it wasn't real. No, 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 no. That was just. No. It's like the Titanic. No, he's saying we. The went, movie but... was not real. What? It wasn't real. No, 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 no. That was just a recreation of. No, no James Cameron. No, was I there found, with, just, a cam- with a with a bunch of cameras. That's what I thought too. That's Wait, what I you mean I do. Um, we were gonna do round one, I believe, is where we were. Let's do it. Okay. Round one. This Fifteen and a half These minutes in. My favorite things. For this game, you will get slips of paper upon which you will write four of your favorite things. We'll then read back these favorites one by one, and you will guess who they belong to. A lot to... Yeah, there's episodes. There's at least one episode of Versus that's only twelve minutes long. <laughs> we're at round one, and we're at almost sixteen minutes on this. So yeah, this is a nice chunky one. Okay, All right. what were you just thinking about while I was reading the rules of that game? <laughs> um. So... Um, what are the rules for this game? Write down three of your favorite things. <laughs> Ever? Anything. No categories. No Just categories. You can write things. my favorite X is Y. All right. Okay. Um, oh. We have to write Hold my on. favorite, our favorite things? <laughs> don't look at his, John. I'm not looking. No, I just saw you oh. looking at Rory's. 
Don't just saw you, you glance over don't there. You John, fucking, well, John, don't you fucking look. Well, then, don't you look. I think, oh, oh. I think you'll find another cons- episode where John looked at papers. Speaking of conspiracy theories here, just say what I saw. Never looked. I think you'll find another episode where John looked at paper and got an answer and then lost points for it. I'm really not making it up. I thought I saw you glance, Johnny. He said something and I looked over. Well, you gotta just, not do that or I might yell at you. <laughs> John's always cheating looking at extra oh answers and papers. <laughs> Alright, uh, here is someone's favorite thing. My favorite Transformer is Cosmo. Johnny, Rory, Malachi. Why? Whose favorite thing do you think this is? Why? What? Is your favorite, tra- tra- favorite Transformer is Cosmo? Yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't know which one of you I disrespect the most. (laughs) So what does Cosmo do? See, I can't tell. I I wouldn't divulge the information even if I had. I can't tell if he's doing this because he is trying to bluff. Trying to bluff or legitimately like knows Transformers and is upset you know that what? someone would pick Cosmo. That's what makes this such a well crafted fucking game, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yes. That's why they call me the Game mm. Master. My favorite Transformer would be one of the Decepticons. So right. you know it's not me. Like who? Um, the What's the leader? What's uh, the leader? The, guy the, the turn, leader's name? You the guy that know. turns into a gun? Yeah, what's Cosmo. the leader of the Decepticons? <laughs> Megatron. Oh, Meg- Meg- oh yeah, Megatron. Megatron would be yeah. my favorite. I'm going to say it's Rory. <laughs> Malachi. Probably Rory then. Rory, John, care to guess? John's a good actor. I'm gonna guess that it's me. It's, yeah. uh, it's Rory. It's yeah. Rory. Yeah. All right, so we've hit the first spot where I'd like to add a sound effect. I love me a long episode, 15 minutes. It feels like such a tease. Well, you're gonna have verses coming out of your ears this week, buddy, because uh, not only are you listening to this this chonky chonk right now but hopefully you'll listen to it again on wednesday when it comes into your podcast feed so here when um in round one when we get correct answers i want to just add a little ding i think it's nice to hear something other than us talking especially since this is such a long episode of us talking i think it really just kind of gives people um something else to hear which is nice actually real quickly before we go any further i'm going to save this project because i haven't done that yet and we're one computer crash away from me rage quitting this stream so let me just save this real quick i call this one intro outro sfx because i had the intro outro and sound effects on it all right so great now We've saved our progress. Yes, thank you, Anarcho Aesthetic. Thank you. Always a good call to save your progress. So let's see. It's, yeah. it's, it's Rory. It's Rory. It's Rory. <laughs> so I have a little ding in my sound library. So we won't go to freesound.org, which is where I call many of my sounds. And I'm sorry, I think um, you guys aren't going to be able to see this while I'm digging around. But what I'm doing right now is just going into... My little sound library I've created. I have, let's see, some folders I made recently. Beeps, boops, and dings. And then we've got a ding here. Actually, what what should I do? I'm going to actually drop a quick little cut into the audio file right around, just so I don't lose my place. Because every time you import a new sound into Audacity, it imports it to the beginning of the track. So this is our ding that we just imported here. You guys can see that, right? Sounds like that. We've used it in previous episodes. um, And I will use it in this episode. So I'm going to shorten it up. I don't want that. uh... This waveform is so beautiful too, isn't it? It's just so perfect and symmetrical. Um, So actually this, it, it will always pull new sounds into a new line, but unless you're, so I usually only use like one or two stacked sound effect uh, rows when I'm editing because um, unless you're really doing like granular uh, work where you want different sounds to come out of different headphones or different sides of the speaker or if you want them to be different um, noise levels and all that stuff, you can kind of get away with just using um, a few lines for your sound effects. So I'm going to change this one to actually SFX1. And that'll be, whoops, I put that way too high. I just want to put this, you can kind of grab them and move them around um, so that you can kind of stack them easier. So I'll I'll be moving around these different lines. But we've got our ding here, and then I just need to move it to um, the spot. Actually, I'll just cut it. Just cut it straight out, and then we'll paste it into uh, where I wanted to add it. 
here into the episode. Um, this is where we announced that it was Rory's favorite thing. Let's see how this sounds, and we'll move it around depending on... And we'll also probably have to adjust the... Let's actually put the volume down, because I think it'll be too loud. I'm going to guess that it's me. It's, yeah. uh, it's Rory! It's Rory. Yeah. I think I want that to come a little bit later. So we're going to move it, just scoot it. I'm going to guess that it's me. It's, uh, yeah. it's Rory! It's yeah. Rory! Yeah. Cosmo. Yeah. There Wait, you go. It's Cosmo, he why turns do you into like a him? spaceship. It's the one that makes the most sense. That does sound badass. <laughs> it's an alien. It's, 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 come on. He's the only one who yeah. can actually leave the planet. Yeah. And they don't have pickup trucks and buses on Cybertron, but they have spaceships. That's yeah. Why, it as always, as the story pans out. It was very weird to me that the leader turns into an 18-wheeler. Yeah. That was very Yeah, that's the worst yeah. vehicle. Yeah. That is the dumbest, most useless. I mean, I guess Arch Nemesis turns into like a jet play. A go. Gun. The bad guy is a gun. What does John say there? <laughs> His nemesis turns into a shit play. I mean, I His guess arch nemesis very... turns into like a, a gun. shit play. A go gun. The world will never know. John Moreno, we love you. Um, also, speaking of which, I did invite the guys this morning to come and hang out and chat. Um, this was kind of last minute. I threw this. I, I didn't know if I'd finish editing last night. So I didn't want to make any promises before this morning, but I did finish late last night doing the final cut and mix and decided to do this this morning. So I just texted them this morning and was like, hey, jump on Twitch if you want. I don't know what they're doing today or if they're uh, busy or whatever, but maybe in future, if we keep doing this for the future, uh, maybe the guys will come in and kind of lurk and chat or maybe even join me on Zoom while we do this. That'd be fun. Today was kind of a little last minute, though. I mean, I guess Arch Nemesis very... turns into like a, a gun. jet play. A go gun. No idea what John the said there. All right. <laughs> My favorite thing is pencil shavings. I don't know how truthful that is. And if somebody's lying in this room, then they're definitely That is not a very points. bizarre thing favorite, to be your favorite Also, it could have been any favorite thing, thing, thing. And they named the favorite thing to be pencil shavings. John, Malachi, Malachi. Rory. What kind of What kind of pencil shaving? That's You don't get ancillary Colored information. Pencils? I'm well, we can say, still ask questions. No, you can't. Either, either, <laughs> you have to either guess favorite thing is. Rory is hard on the spectrum, and I didn't know beforehand. <laughs> That's probably or, true. Or it's Malachi. You wouldn't know. Yeah. You wouldn't know. I'm going to say it's Malachi because it's just such a silly answer, but he's going to get all passionate he's about gonna, it. He's going to defend it once we're done you. here. I would never defend pencil, pencil shade, when I was a kid. Yeah. Malachi, who do you guess? I don't guess either. I don't guess anybody, man. I don't have any guesses. Right. That's you. So was it you? That's ridiculous. So was it you? That was your thing? No. Come no. on. You have to tell us. I don't have to tell you, and it wasn't my thing. <laughs> no, Malachi gets no me. points. I think you guys get points. So I think you guys get points. I think I'm going to add another ding. As you can see, this one quickly went off the rails. I had them each write down four of their favorite things, and we did not get to even a fraction of those because... Even though we were listening to, you know, 20 minutes of audio at this point, we had been in the studio for probably more like 30 minutes at this point. So we weren't even done with round one. Poor Rory came all the way from Queens. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's see where this is. Come oh. on, you have to tell us. I don't have to tell you, and it wasn't my thing. <laughs> no, oh, guy gets no me. points. I think you guys get points. How about I think you guys get points, ding. I think you guys get points. Ah, We're going to say you guys like get that. points. Wow. The All ding right. happens wow. on the word I points. Mean, I like that. Wow. that. Welcome back to Versus where they don't find... Let's see. I actually haven't been looking at the audio. I'm going to look at this thing up here and make sure we're not clipping out on that ding. I think you guys get points. Ah, yeah, we're gonna that's say perfect. You guys get points. Wow. All right. John, wow. Get points. That seems like it's really... You guys get points. Ah, we're going to say you guys get points. Wow. Huh. All right, this is me being super nitpicky, but I think that little tail that I took off of this had some sound on it. It sounds like it ends way too soon to me. Now, if you listen to it, the ding should have a little... You hear it clip off at the end like that? I think I messed it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little fade out on this and see if that sounds better. I think that sounds generally better, so let's use that. Um... Los says, is my Twitch acting weird, or did everyone lose visual but not audio on the stream? Oh, no. Um, let me know if that is the case for anyone else. Um, my OBS is still showing the visual, though. So let me know if that's an issue. I think it's my stupid Twitch on Xbox. I hope it is, although I hope you figure out a way to fix that. Um, 
but I also hope that it's not. Yeah, JD Panda said it's okay. Um, I'm going to replace this with um, that other little clip that I just made because I like the way this fades out a little better. I think it's going to sound. Oops, I've made that solo. All right, so that's better. 